Hi everyone, this is Julie with Be Holic, and in this video I'm going to show you how to finish silk wire ends by wire wrapping them so that then you can attach other components and a clasp. So I have a couple different examples here that I've done with this technique. So I have this necklace here which has a really beautiful nun design focal and then up here I've done a beaded link chain. And if we look here, I have finished the ends by wire wrapping them. And I've added this jump ring. The jump ring is what allows me to connect my chain here. And so you see, I made nice big loops here with the silk ribbon before I did the wire wrapping. And then I have another example here where I did it just up at the clasp. So here we have a necklace with a pretty heart focal and hand. And then what I've done is I have added those jump rings. I did not, in this case, add that big of a, of a bit of ribbon here at the end. I actually tied a little knot first instead. So I tied a little knot and then I did the wire wrapping to secure it. And again, that jump ring is what's allowing me to finish it off. So what you're going to need if you're going to be doing this is you're gonna need some silk ribbon. I'm gonna use a piece of silk ribbon that I already cut because I wanna save the others for other projects. But you see there's a bunch of different colors. You're going to need a jump ring. You're going to need some wire. I'm gonna be using 22 gauge wire. And you're going to need a cutter. And then I suggest also using a chain nose plier because you're gonna to wanna to squish your wire ends at the end. So let me show you how to do this technique. You are going to take your ribbon. So we're going to assume you've already added whatever you're going to add to it because this is going to be securing it. And then you're going to put on your jump ring. So you're just going to put on your jump ring. Now, what I did with the one example here is I just made nice big loops with the wire, or I mean, not the wire, the ribbon. But on the other one I showed you, I tied a knot. I want to show you the knot technique. But if you weren't going to do the knot, you would just go like this. So you would just make a nice loop with that jump ring up top. But I do want to do the knot, so it's just a simple overhand knot. And I'm going to pull it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little tug. I want this knot to be up near that jump ring. It doesn't have to be super tight, but you see now we've got a knot up there. And now we're going to hold these strands together when we do our wire wrapping. And to do our wire wrapping, we're gonna grab our wire. I say start with about 10 inches of wire. We're gonna start with 10 inches, and we're gonna cut that off. So here is our wire, and I'm using 22 gauge wire. And then we're gonna begin our wrappings. Okay, so now we're gonna take our wire, and we're gonna bend up and make that little L. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and grab our piece and sandwich it between the two pieces of ribbon that we want to wrap. And we're gonna hold on to it. And now we're just gonna wrap around it. The first couple wraps are definitely the hardest until you get it going. So that's what we got so far. And you can see, if you look closely, you still see that little wire end. The wire is what gives you something stiffer to hold on to as you're doing your wrappings. And you just keep going around and around. Now you can do this very messily. I know that that's definitely a really popular aesthetic. Or you can do it neat. Now once you've got a few bands, you can hold on to the bands. So then you can just wire up here and keep going 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 and so what that did is it is securing your ends but it is also giving you a nice decorative look to it and you are covering that interior wire so it cannot poke you so that's another benefit so do it as many times as you want I'm feeling pretty good about this when you are happy with your wrappings you are just going to trim the wire. Okay, so we're gonna trim it away and then this is very important. At this point, you want to go in and tuck your wire tail. 
or not your wire tail. Yeah, your wire tail. Sorry, there's too many tails happening here. Tuck that wire and you're squishing it into the ribbon. And what that is doing is it is making it so it will not snag on you or on your clothing. So just keep doing that until you feel that it's nice and secure in there and that that is pressed in place. Okay, so now you've got your wire wraps. If you want, you can manipulate them a little. It's just wire. You can try to make them a little tighter or you can make them messier, whatever you like. And then we're gonna take a scissor and I've just got my little scissor here. I'm gonna pull these apart and I'm just going to, while holding it, trim. And that is going to be very secure and now you've got that jump ring that you can attach other items to. So that is how you wire wrap your ends. Let me show you the examples again so you can see a couple of different variations. So on this one again, I did the same thing. I did a little bit of a overlapping wire here. So this one was more straight. This was a little messier and overlapping. I just made the big loops. And then on this one here, it's a little bit more like the example that I just did with the knot, a little straighter design, and it's right up to the top near the clasp. So that is how you wire wrap your ribbon ends to be able to add your other components and to finish your ribbon jewelry designs. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can find all the project instructions and supplies over at beataholic.com.